Then they're such nice people. Ricky, in the picture from the Kaiser Chief, used to be my supervisor in a bar, so he was my manager when I worked at Pouring Pints. You're kidding. Paloma, we have a thing called Memory Lane. We're going to show you some photos. If you can talk us through them. Yes. Uh, first one is from 2007. This the, this is a great look. What, what can you tell us about this? This is me in the film St Trinians, which was one of the first major acting roles that I got. And I was the emo in the school. So I've got all this terrible <laughs> white makeup on and <laughs> fake chin piercings. But yeah, it was really fun. I made a lot of friends on that film set. Um, people that I I just think are wonderful, like Rupert Everett, Demo Arterton, Jodie Whittaker. And I know them all still, and they're just brilliant. It was a real life-changing moment. And I was I was still working in the underwear shop agent for her when I took Oh, okay. Job. So I, I basically got time off work to do it. And then I went back to the shop floor after filming it. This next one, I mean, totally different, like all glossied up now. What's happening here? This is um, the video for Only Love Can Hurt Like This. I knew it was a big song. I didn't know how big it would become. Yeah. That was the video. That shot ensured it. Just trying to think, it was 2014. Yeah, Shoreditch was already very cool by then. I'm just trying to think if you're an early adopter of Shoreditch. Yeah. <laughs> Putting it on the map. Um, and now uh, over to the Brit Awards a year later. You said yeah. it was a, you didn't know if it was going to be a big song. And then here we go. This is what happens. Yeah, it was huge. It was the Brit Awards. I won Best British Female 2015. It was a proud moment, but I, th I feel like it was more a proud moment, not because of getting the award, but the performance, because it was the first time that my record company had said, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. And I creative directed that performance. I collaborated with Wayne McGregor, who is a contemporary dance choreographer, who taught me when I was a child. So it was like coming full circle. He's so amazing and innovative and does great work. But it was so nice to be able to call like a childhood dance teacher and say, can we do this thing together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and it was amazing wearing the Giles Deacon dress. Like, it was all just celebrating sort of British talent. Because fashion has also been hugely important to you. Because, of course, you, you started off at art school, didn't you, art college? Yeah. yeah. Well, I went to dance school first, okay. contemporary dance school, and then I went to do a master's at St. Martin. On to um, your time on The Voice. Yeah. It was brilliant. It was so lovely. And sometimes I miss it still. I think it's very rare for people like me do, doing what I do to have like a job that you wake up in the morning and go to. Yeah. And it feels yeah. like that. And so it was quite sort of restful in a way to know like I've just got to go and do this job rather than like all oh, everything lies on me and I'm self-employed. And... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and they're such nice people. Would you do And actually get... Ricky in the picture from the Kaiser Chief used to be my supervisor in a bar, so he was my manager when I worked at Pouring Pints. You're kidding. No. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah. Talk us through this next shot from last year. This is me at the British LGBT Awards, winning something like an ally thing. Yeah. Um, and I've it's, it was really great because I am really proud of, like, my community, I call them my community. I feel like LGBTQ plus is my tribe, has been from the beginning. And I speak out a lot about trans rights and stuff, and that's why I won this award. And I think it's really important to me. I'm very passionate about people being allowed to be who they are, irrespective of nobody else's business. Mm. And I celebrate that, I celebrate people. Because it's, I think quite a lot of people aren't who they actually are. And so I think, why not celebrate people who are screaming out to be who they actually are? So, yeah, I feel like that's where I'm at most at home. And that's where I came up with that community because I used to perform a lot at um, gay clubs and stuff. I'm actually performing this Saturday at GAY in heaven. Oh my, oh my God. So I'm excited. Yeah, that'll be Back brilliant. Home. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Paloma, thank you. Thank you.